Woo! Let's go. What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Now I'm back with another tutorial. As you guys can see, I'm back in CADWorks Live. All right, so you, could, you guys could thank Tamika for this one. All right, shout out to you, Tamika. Now here we go. Now, um, I know you guys had a, um, a few questions pertaining pertaining to sizing about how you guys are supposed to size your artwork when you're submitting it, you know, to these transfer companies. All right, now I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna break this down for you. It's not as difficult as you think it is. Okay, first off, uh, when it comes to putting images on the front or back or whatever garment you want to put it on, t-shirt, hoodie, jacket, whatever, I don't know what you guys are going to do. But let me, uh, let me show you these, let me show you um, an easy way to figure out sizing if you really don't know how big or small you want. Your actually lo your actual logo to be all right so I'm just gonna go here to file and open up one of my designs okay uh, I was let's let's grab this bird I was working on this bird one day and I just never finished it all right so we're gonna open up this bird give it a minute to load I never finished it, so like a lot of color and gradient in that thing. That's why it's taking a minute. All right, here we go. All right, so here's the bird, right? Now, if you select all of it, right? Come over here to the left sidebar. You see my mouse where it says size to fit left click that and here's your options cad works live gives you options so right here it's already clicked on an adult size shirt so it says the image should be 14 inches by 8 inches then if you want to put it on a medium size shirt if you want a medium size logo that will look good on a medium size shirt it suggests 12 inches by 8 inches you scroll down and so on and so forth. Got full front. You see 12 inches by 17.4. Standard jumbo print. Okay, then you got small jumbo print. Then you got a cap. So if you want to make a design that'll fit a hat perfectly. All right, like a, a six pan or whatever. And here's your max cap uh, image option. And there's... And heart, heart like represents like, uh, like a like a left chest piece uh, application. Then you got your max heart five by five pocket. Same thing. Three point five by three point five. All right. Now, since it's already set for, uh, well, I got to click on medium right now. I'm gonna show you guys what will happen if I went to like a smaller size. All right, so let's go to cap. As soon as I click on cap and I hit select, my bird is gonna shrink the size, watch. Give it a minute. See, it's starting to get smaller. So now that it's small, you can just come over here and click add background, right? Just grab, you know, either one of these, you know, BS garments that they supply you. <laughs> All right, let's click on, let's click on this pink one. All right, I'll left click it and just push it to the back. See right here where it says to back? All right, now that's in the back. Now you can just grab your, select your bird. Like if you wanted to be like on the left chest, that's how it will look. 
or in the middle, whatever. That's how it look. All right. So now, all you have to do is either write down or memorize this size. So let's go back over here to size to fit. So we're in max cap. So that's five inches by three inches. Okay, y'all. So if you look, look over here. That's five inches in width by three inches in height. Okay. Let me know if you don't got it. <laughs> All right, I'll just leave the screen open a little while longer. So once again, that's five inches in width and three inches in height. So our bird, our actual artwork, if we wanted this size to fit properly, you know, on like a max cap or whatever, that's the suggested size that CADWorks Live says you should go with. All right, now let's get out of there. I'm, I'm just going to delete this, uh, this T-shirt, guys. All right. Now, I'm just going to select this and blow it back up so you guys can see what we're working with. Give it a minute. Okay, so now that we have our size uh, set that we want to go with, which once again is 5 inches in width and 3 inches in height. Okay. Just save the image to your computer. And if you guys forgot, I'll show you that again. Just go here to File. Go to Export. Underneath Title, name it whatever you want. Let's go, okay, let's just name it a bird. Because that's what it is. Bird. Okay, now you could either submit it and you have options here jpeg format png vector i like to go i like to go pdf vector okay it's like a it's a cleaner image it's vectorized so just click on that click okay now that's going to save to our computer all right bird okay now that's saved now up here, I got the super color website. Now under wearables, okay, if you wanna if you wanna go with the wearable, here's your 2.5 by 2.5. So now we know that's not gonna fit. Four by four, we know it's not gonna fit there. Now here we go. We come to the wearable WEA5, which is 5.8 by 8.3 now we know our image will fit in that box because our artwork is five inches by three inches right guys okay so now when we submit our artwork this is the option we want to go with okay now if you want to if you want to make your image smaller you can go ahead and do that too all right, now here's the thing. To see how the actual artwork is gonna look in that size, this is what I never explained to you guys in the past. I use another free program called Inkscape. Okay, so let's go to Inkscape real quick. Okay guys, now we're in the Inkscape software. All right, now you see this little box? This is just a standard uh, uh, layout that they give you when you open up the program called Inkscape. I like to resize that box to the size that I need. Okay, so you're just going to go here to File. Scroll down till you see Document Properties. Okay, another box is going to open. Mine came off the, excuse me, mine slid off to the side. So when this box opens up, I like to click this, this checker box background option. Okay, because I don't want to see the white background. I want to make sure my image is completely transparent. Okay. Then I go over here. It says show, show page border. 
No, I don't need that. I'm sorry. It says show uh, border shadow. No, I don't need that shadow. Okay. And once you get your box, just like this, you can just X out. Uh, you, know, you know what? I'm sorry. Let me show you guys this too. Where it says over here units, it's in millimeters. Just click on it and go to inches. Okay. Now we're going to resize. Our, wow, this was a major step I almost missed. We're going to resize our box to the width. Remember, our bird is going to be five inches. So just get the five. If you can't get the five with the arrows, just enter it in manually. Zero, zero. That's fine. Height. Get down to three. Zero, zero. Okay, once you do that, you got your width set. You got your height set. Just X out of this box. Okay, we don't need it anymore. And your settings are going to stay just like this. Now, it looks small on the screen, but now all you have to do is come down over here and to the right. Let me show you. I'm sorry. Scroll down to the right. Scroll down to the right of your PC where it says 35%. And just bump that up to where you feel comfortable enough that you'll be able to work with, you know, the... um the workspace all right now now that we got our our box viewable to where we can insert our artwork now we just go back over here top left click on file scroll down to import and we're going to import our bird. Okay, so let's look for our bird. Where's my bird? Let's just type it in. Bird. Okay, so once you find your artwork, this box is going to open up. You just you don't have to mess with anything over here. Just click OK. Now, your bird or your image might be large and not fit in the box, right? As of um, now, just grab it. And you can either go here and start downsizing it to where you need it. Like I said, you can use it. You can use the arrows or... You could just enter it manually by yourself. So our height was uh, three inches. Y'all remember? Three inches. And our width was five inches. Okay. Now image pretty much vanished but it's just down here all right just grab it and bring it back up to your work area okay and you see how that fits perfectly inside the box all right so that's how I size my artwork sometimes when I want to see exactly how it's going to look at that particular size but then right if you want to save it click file scroll down to export png okay and just click export it was so it did it so fast it's already done okay so it's exported to my uh pc at the size that i sized it at which is you see it's up here is locked x out of that we don't need that it's locked in up here you guys see it 
at five inches wide and three inches in height. Okay, now we're gonna get out of this now, y'all. We don't need this. We don't need ink Inkscape no more. But if you guys wanna use that option, like I said, to see exactly how your artwork will look in that particular size, use Inkscape, okay? So I'm just gonna X out, of, you know, I'm just gonna minimize it real quick, make it faster. Now we're gonna go back into super color. All right, now when you when you start your order with super color, all right, I'm just gonna go here to add a new job, sign in, go to type price code. And here's all the available sizes and styles of transfers that they have available. Now, y'all remember we said we were going to go with the wearable A5, 5.8 by 8.3 option, right? So just click on that. And right here in this box, you see where it says size? That's where you put the actual size of what you want your artwork to be. So remember, we said we want our artwork five inches wide by three inches in height. And that's it, y'all. It's easy. It's literally that easy. Once you get down to what uh, transfer option you want to purchase, which if we were going to submit this, this would be the 5.8 by 8.3 uh, option because that option right there gives us enough area to cover when we add in our artwork. Okay, not saying that they're going to use this whole printable area. You just have to find the maximum amount of area that you can afford and that will allow you to put your artwork in that particular size. Okay, and then, you know, you just click on the quantity you want. You know, Super Colors Divine because they got the low minimum. Just put in 20, you know, and then, you know, just upload your artwork and boom it's going to give you a price and a shipping cost and you off and running it's that easy y'all so once again i'll go back you just start with cad works live and if you want to go here if you don't really know how big you want your artwork to be you can just go over here and work off of these options find what works for you best and then take these sizing options and submit them right to super color or if you want to be like me and take that little extra step but you don't have to you know sometimes i go into like i said i use that inkscape program to actually see like how my image is going to look once it's shrink down shrunk down or stretch all right, Tamika. Hopefully, this video helped you. Uh, it's the same. It's the same concept. If you weren't using, if you weren't using Supercolor, like let's say you were using another um, transfer company, when they ask for sizing, same aspect. You can just you know pick your size via the CadWorks Live over here in this little cheat sheet. All right, so. If you guys have any more questions, uh, make sure you leave it in the comments. Hopefully, I helped you guys and I wasn't rambling on and on. I mean, I know this comes easy to me because I've been doing it for a while. And um, I'm not really a teacher or an instructor. <laughs> I mean, I just try to, you know, help you guys the best way that I can. All right, so that's that. Once again, Tamika, thank you. Thank you for your donation. I truly appreciate you. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you know, to let me know that you like the video, like my content, make sure you hit the bell so every time I drop some new material, you don't miss anything. Alright guys, till next time, like I always say, choose your own path. Skid it!
The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.